Hi, my name is Jeremy Cook. Today I'll be talking about my laser engraver from Endurance Laser. You can see the mechanicals are pretty solid. They're made out of aluminum extrusion and some plastic on the sides, which uh, looks great. My only hesitation with this machine was the electronics. You can see kind of a, uh, a cluster of resistors right there. Um, some stuff was just kind of stuck on. And right there, the, the power supply was stuck together with electrical tape and some packing tape. But I, I thought, you know, I'll just give it a try, see what happens. And uh, the great thing was, once I started using it, um, it, it worked uh, worked quite well. You can see some of the early tests there with some straight G-code. Um, right there, I'm just doing using some G-code from an old uh, clock that I made. I didn't, I didn't optimize the code for laser whatsoever, so it's kind of, um, you know, you can see kind of where it traces it. it. It didn't stop cutting it when it was, you know, making the marks making the moves and uh, right right here I'm tracing a picture of Pac-Man um, it's a pretty simple shape in fact I heard somewhere they couldn't copyright it because it was so simple so at least this part of it, the video I guess I won't get dinged for uh, copyright infringement hopefully none of the rest of it either <laughs> so um, obviously with this you have to wear laser safety glasses um, this is something that made me a little nervous because it's kind of hard to test whether the glasses are working well or not Here I was using using the laser to engrave some uh, some cloth and it just cut right through it. And then I tried uh, tried marking bread with it, which which is a pretty cool effect. So I'll probably try have to try that at some other time too. Another thing I tried was engraving a uh, some business cards. You know, trying to maybe maybe make some like some legs on it. Um, one problem with that, I, I think it was just too light colored, so it just kind of bounced the light off it. At least that's what I think happened. For whatever reason, it just didn't cut it. So this is one thing I worked on a long time ago, something called pixel machining. And instead of using like a typical CAD CAM uh, process, it uses just, it just takes a bitmap image and then puts a dot down for every, every bitmap it sees. Kind of a one-to-one -one type, type ratio. So you have to process the image a little bit beforehand, but after, after you get it, it just kind of, kind of does its thing. This took quite a, quite a while and um, even, even sped up like it is. It takes, takes a little while, but that's okay. The results were were quite good, and you know, not, when I'm thinking about it, this this laser doesn't have a, a bottom on it, so you know, in, in theory, you could just take it somewhere else and engrave, you know, like the sidewalk or you know, a uh, bathroom stall or something. I, mean, I don't really do that, but you know, it's it's totally portable. In fact, it says on their website that it could be run off of a, a battery, which which I guess it would be able to because the power supply is a 12 volt DC, it puts 12 volts DC in there, so. I assume that's I assume that's correct. One thing that uh, I'm gonna have to have to work on is maybe to get some sort of covering for this, because even if those glasses are safe, and and I use tried theirs and I tried some from Amazon as well, and it just just makes me look really nervous that so you can't test it. So I'm gonna probably make a a covering for it that I can just put over it, maybe with a fan or something. So you'll have to stay tuned and see what see what happens with that. But as you can see, the results results look quite good with this little routine. So just a little bit more, and it'll be done with this process. You can see it just beaming down like some sort of like bolt of lightning or lightsaber or something. Pretty awesome. So here's the results. Uh, you can see kind of the, the settings on it, 20 inches per minute, um, 0.2 seconds burn time. There's another view of it, and then one from the side, and you can kind of see how it, it actually dug into it, which was pretty neat. I, I didn't quite expect that. And as you can see, I had a great time using it. So anyway, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, or leave a comment. Thanks for watching.